this is Cheryl Morgan reporting from Montreal at the Palais de Congrès where Worldcon will be held in August this year. You're looking at the moment at the escalators leading to the upper floors of the Convention Centre, which is where the Convention will be. But let's just take a little look outside as to how we're going to get here. I'm going to ask my gorgeous assistant, Mr. Stanley, here to open the doors for me. Thank you very much, Kevin. There he is, holding my bags as well. Okay, so here we are outside of the Palais, and just over the street there, you should be able to make out the Intercontinental Hotel, which I suspect will be where a lot of the drinking gets done, if it has a decent bar. And then a little way further over here, I can just get the trees out of the way. You should be able to see the Embassy Suites, which is where I have my room booked. So there are a couple of hotels within very easy striking distance of the Palais. The Party Hotel is the Delta, which is a little further away. Ah, magic door opening here. Um, but uh, we'll take a look at that later when we get around to actually having some of the committee meetings. In the meantime, I'm going to wander down here to the information desk, which is where we're supposed to meet up for the tour of the facilities. Here we are up on the second floor of the Palais. It looks a little deserted at the moment, but uh, this is apparently where registration is going to be. These uh, little rooms up there are where the translation people are apparently going to be. They've got a whole pile of tech up there specifically for doing that. Um, but other than that, we won't be making a great deal of use of this floor. We're going to be up on the third and fifth floor. Um, if that sounds a little scary, don't worry too much about the absence of floor four, because apparently floor four is more of a mezzanine level, containing um, various little rooms overlooking the big function space in floor three which is where the dealer's room and the art show are going to be. Taking place in the Palais this weekend is this uh, Salon National de la Femme, obviously a uh, feminist conference of some sort. And there are lots of people there, but we can't go in because we're not actually part of this particular event. So we're going to go and take a look elsewhere. There, by the way, is Bruce showing Kevin where everything is. We've just taken the escalator all the way from the second floor up to the fifth floor. That's direct from the registration area up to the programming area. And we can see here just a few corridors. Um, not very exciting to look at at the moment, but this is where all the programming will take place and there will be lots of little programming rooms that we can make use of here. Just take a a look down this corridor and it's very much standard convention center sort of thing. Uh, we apparently have the whole of the fifth floor which is where most of the programming is going to take place. Uh, we'll also be building the arena for the Masquerade and Hugos. Uh, at the far end of this there's a particularly large programming room that will be turned into a theatre for that Let's purpose. now wander along following Bruce down the hall and we'll see just how big this place is. And just passing uh, the 511 programming rooms, there's a long way to go as yet. Take a look outside the window at Montreal while we're here. A parking lot down there. It's, um, you can see there's a, a lot of corridors stretching here ahead of us.
more programming rooms down this way. Yeah. These are all program rooms here. More small programming rooms here, and we're continuing along down towards the rooms which are a little larger. The area we're just coming into is uh, definitely a little bit more science fictional. I'm not sure how well the camera is compensating for the light here. It appears to have uh, got its acting gear now, and you can see the uh, nice windows. There are more small programming rooms. Now these uh, rooms here, 516A, etc. These are the ones that are going to become the green room and the photography areas for the masquerade. I guess also the uh, pre-Hugo party will probably get held in one of these rooms. This is one of the uh, issues here with these clever little devices. They're uh, programmable uh, notice boards outside of the function rooms and uh, there was just some discussion there that we were hoping that we might actually be able to put program information on them but it isn't at all clear as to how easily they're updatable if you have to give the information to the convention center people a week in advance and any changes um, also have to be made a week in advance then that tends to lead to the information outside the rooms being out of date and uh, causing a lot of irritation to people. So we may or we may not use those screens dependent on our ability to update them in a timely manner. There um, appear to be emergency exits here, sortie in French for the way out, or exit. Now, we're now coming up to room 517, which is the really big one, and this is where we're going to build the stage and uh, seating area for the major events, the Hugos and the Masquerade. It all looks very boring. A, a nice moment. little area here that obviously something could be put in and one of the purposes of a planning weekend like the one we're attending at the moment is to allow people to bat ideas back and forth as to how they could use this space. Now most of it's not going to be usable but that area right up against your building would be. Now uh, we have uh, more escalators here, leading up from other parts of the Palais. This building is huge, and we are only taking a relatively small part of it. Just spotted down the far end here, there appears to be a restaurant, so Kevin and I are going to go and take a look, see what sort of stuff they're actually selling here. Ah, I see. It's uh, up an escalator there by the looks of it, and uh, not currently accessible. But there is a nice little seating area here, and uh, restrooms I can see, public telephone. We're still working out where all of the ATMs and stuff like that are. Uh, a lot of this uh, area is actually public space, so be interesting to see exactly how everything gets organized once we're in here. But, uh, here down the end, there are more function rooms, and there is actually an event going on here, so we'd better leave these good people in peace and uh, get back to enjoy rejoin our comrades.